Today I'm about to tell you a story that uh, about my life and I'm gonna tell you a bit of what happened to me and I'm gonna give you something that you probably will see as valuable because this has really transformed everything about me and I didn't understood this in the beginning I had no idea about it like I now know seven years later I now understand what actually happened this is a thing that can actually change everything what you do and your future because it did for me but it did unconsciously I didn't uh, consciously think about it and I didn't like choose the thing that actually happened around it but it just happened for me so this is the story it's two 2012 I am actually unemployed at this point and uh, I have no idea what to do in life I was completely lost my father passed away in cancer it just came like this boom I had I knew that he was sick but I never thought about him that he was going to die I had no exp there was like I didn't even exist in my world and I don't think there is in anyone like you don't expect someone to die and the story is that when I was 12 I actually separated from my father because we couldn't get along and then I met him when I was 23 and then when I was 24 he passed away and he was only 44 years old and it and at this point of time in my life I had no idea what to do I was just doing bad shit uh, to myself uh, and it was not good and to others so and what happened here was that when he passed away he had and then at this point he had expectations on me what I was supposed to do and not do he was always criticizing me and he did it to find fault and he wanted me to improve all the time but what happened was that when he did that I did the opposite so I did rebel I, I didn't want him to control me that he maybe wanted he wanted me to do all this stuff but uh, I didn't want to do it so I did the opposite thing I started to smoke when I was 13 I started to drink when I was 13 I, I do I started with the drugs when I was like 18 or 19 something and I was doing drugs and it was not good so and I now understand why I was doing that kind of stuff because I was rebellious against him because that was the guy that I crave the most love from so the question I want to ask you straight away when you're watching who of your parents did you crave the most love from think about it is it your mother or is it your father uh, because some of them you crave them the love more from than the other one you love both but you crave the love more it's a different thing so uh, think about it and you I think when you start to think about it, you will know like bam you will know straight away and the other question is that what did you have to do to get the love because when you were a little kid you were you were doing stuff to, to get the love some is screaming some sit and don't say anything and some like you can do anything my thing that I did that I now understand is that I crave the love most from him and I was pleasing him so the thing is that I was when I was pleasing him I sometimes got the love so when I was a, I was a kid I, I just did this and I wanted I wanted the love so much so I was pleasing and pleasing and pleasing and pleasing and this has been programmed into my head so when I when I grew up later in life, I still loved and I want the love, but I got a free will. And the free will said that this guy hurt me, so I'm not going to do what he wants me to do. I was actually doing the opposite. And that's why I started to smoke. That's why I started to drink a lot. And I did drugs and I, would do, I did all this shit stuff in my life that, I, that I'm today I'm actually grateful for because without that I wouldn't be the man who I am. But at that point in time it wasn't good. Uh, and, uh, and this actually really controls you and if you don't know why you do stuff this is one critical thing because when you know that this is how the, it was then you understand also that I for example I was now pleasing others so my brain said that if you just please these people and you do what they want to do then you will get the love but it's just wrong it's just wrong and it's actually not true because you have to uh, you have to do stuff for yourself first to be able to give to someone else. So this is a critical thing and um, this story about this, when my father actually died, he, he, he passed away in 2012, 
all the expectations, the criticism and everything around it just vanished into simple air because I let go of it because there were no people, no person there to yeah, criticize me anymore or, or say something about it. And this was happening unconsciously, so I didn't do it with purpose. It just, and, and that same year, my life kind of skyrocketed. I started taking action. I was doing stuff. I was starting my own business a couple years later. And I was doing stuff. Because there were no limitations for me in life now. I had no limitations on what actually, what I could do. It was completely free. And I know an exercise that other people can do. Because you don't want to kill your father. You want to love him. And you want to support him. And you want to be there. And you want him to be proud of you, right? And you want him to love you. But that only works if you're not pleasing him. Because you have to be you. And you have to live your life. Right? Because otherwise it won't work. So the exercise that I actually found, and this is from the book. The book, The Way of the Superior Man. An absolutely fantastic book. I just love it. Best book I ever uh, read. And they talk about that you should live like if your father was dead. Because if you do... You don't have the criticism, you have, don't have the expectations, and you have that you are enough. You are enough as you are, and, you, and, and that's what people really want. Uh, the, the two fears that actually exist, that everyone has the two greatest fear, is not being enough and not being loved. That's everyone's fears. And uh, when, you, when you start to live as a free man, and you really do what, what you want to do in life, Let's say your father is, uh, as my father, he was a bus driver. He actually never said that he wanted me to be a bus driver, but he had expectations on me that I was actually going to do something as he did. That's what I felt anyway. Uh, he never said it, but I guess there is people out there that if they're uh, doing something, they, they want you to do the same. But you are not your father and, or your mother. So you have to go where your heart tells you to go, not anyone else. Like, it, it, it doesn't work, because then you're doing something that, you're, that you don't really, really want to do, and that would make you unhappy, and it would not progress you in life. This is how I experience it, and this is my belief about it. And I think that if you, if you, if you resonate with this, I, and I think you will, then you know the truth, right? Because the truth will always set you free. It will set you free from anything, even though the truth is fucking painful sometimes. It hurts. It really does. And it's hard to hear the truth because your ego will tell you that, oh no, you don't let him tell you this because he's an idiot. He may be the, the ego, the negative ego, or don't believe in that, or you cannot do this. About all this bullshit crap, it's just the negative e ego. You have to understand how the ego works. So, but if the exercise anyway, <laughs> I get carried away. The exercise is that you do something every day for one week that your father doesn't want you to do. So let's say you want to be a photographer and your father say, no, you're going to be a, a, a bus driver as me because we've been bus drivers in generations now and this is what you're supposed to do. He said, no, I want to go, I want to travel the world and I want to take pictures of birds. That's what I want to do. Then you should go out and you should start taking pictures on the birds. Collect the pictures, share them with someone who wants to see them or whatever. Do something every single day because then you start to practice to, to walk away from this uh, uh, old, pro the old programming you have in your head since you were a little kid. And this is just, I feel so strongly for this because now when I understand what actually happened seven years ago, I'm just, I'm so grateful and I just, I know because I met you guys out there, I know this is the way how other people live their life without knowing it. So please share this video with someone because even though you don't know this person, this person when they get vulnerable and they say, hey, that's how I, that's how I do. I actually met a guy when I was traveling in Azerbaijan and I know, I know you're gonna watch uh, and, and I know you're watching this and, and he was doing the same thing. He was pleasing, but it was his mother. So it was pleasing his mother because he craved the love most from him. And because of him pleasing his mother, he was pleasing everyone else. And that would not make you happy because if you have a cup and your cup is not full, 
then you have nothing keep, to give, right? And you just if you, you just keep pleasing others because it, that's your mind that you're believing that if I just please those people, they will love me. But in the end, it's not true. So you have to fill your own cup up first and take care of you. That's the, the real truth. So, yes, exercise. If you want to play with it, play with it because it's... And, and, and then share. Share this video with someone, please, because there is someone out there that really, really need to hear this. Exercise with one thing, one thing every day for like a week and see just how it feels. It will, it will probably come, it, feelings will come up and just let the feelings go. Just let them be there. Let them exist. Let them come up to the surface because when you do, the feelings will go away. It's a beautiful thing. It's just beautiful. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to scream, scream. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you for watching. This is the second video and next time we'll see what comes up. I have no idea. I'm just going to post it uh, two a week and I hope you like it and please share this if you know that someone needs to hear this. Just share it with someone and let me know if there's something you want to hear about. Some subject, some topic, something that you struggle with. Let me know and I post a video about it. Okay, see you guys.